project cash flows project cash flows estimation is an important task in capital budgeting because the decision taken in capital budgeting would depend on the accuracy of the cash flows so the cash flows can be divided into two one is cash outflow which is the cost of the project which will happen in the beginning so it's basically the cost and the other one is cash inflows which is the benefit you are getting out of the project over its useful project life so project life is very important for finding or calculating this project cash flows and this project life would depend upon various factors like physical deterioration technological obsolescence and decline in demand let's see how we should calculate the cash flows so in calculation of cash flows first we should know how to calculate the initial cash outflow so what is initial cash outflow you have decided to take up a project so obviously you are going to incur your cost or your money on acquiring a new asset so cost of new asset would be the first initial cash outflow then again when that machinery comes you have to install and do setting up so installation and setup cost will be there then when this project is taken up then you have to support the project for working capital probably you would be arranging a working capital funding but you have to contribute for a working capital margin which is nothing but increase in net working capital so increase in networking capital that should be added but in some scenario the networking capital can also come down in those cases you deduct then when you take up a project and if it is a replacement project wherein you are selling your old machinery and buying a new machinery then the sale proceeds of old machinery would reduce your initial cash outflow so in those cases you would deduct the sale proceeds in case of replacement decision and you will also have some tax saving that should be added or deducted as the case may be so this would give you the initial cash outflow so this is the first step in the capital budgeting the second one is you have to identify the interim incremental cash flow that is by taking up the project what is the additional cash inflows or cash inflows you are getting over the interim period that is from beginning till the end because of taking up this project there will be increase in operating revenue so that's going to give you an incremental cash flow but that increase in operating revenue will come with increase in operating expenses so that should be deducted here we are excluding depreciation because we are particular about only the cash expenses then we should factor in the tax so if there's going to be additional tax you should add and if there's going to be saving you should deduct then I mean the addition with the expense and deduction is with respect to expense so if you are talking about the overall operating revenue then from this revenue you have to deduct the tax that's more important then there will be some tax depreciation that has to be added or deducted as the case may be and this would give the incremental net cash flow so we have found or we know how to find the initial cash outflow and now we know how to find incremental cash flow then what is pending is terminal incremental net cash flow that is by the time the project life comes to an end you would dispose the asset which would fetch a salvage value that should be added and at the time when you sell there would be tax on salvage value that has to be given appropriate treatment and when the project gets over there will be some return back of working capital margin or net working capital whatever have been deployed that should be added or deducted appropriately so this would be the terminal cash flow so the cash flows over the life of the project should factor all the three that is initial cash flow incremental cash flow and terminal cash flow only then we will be able to take a meaningful decision thank you for watching this video hope you liked it if you wish to learn more on this topic do check our comprehensive online course i have given the link in the description below if you like this video lecture do not forget to click on that like share and subscribe button with bell icon